Hi friends, I am Saitithnya. Welcome back to my channel Saitaker. In this video, I will be talking about the complete uh, initial impressions about this Motorola uh, G 5G device. So, which has been uh, launched in the Flipkart for about 20,000 and you can get the 1,000 rupees instant discount if you use the HDFC uh, card. So, this is a very good mobile for the kind of uh, specifications it has got. And in this video, I will be trying to go through the all the list of uh, specifications about this device. And this is the first smartphone with a 5G device. Below a uh, 20,000 kind of range and which is coming with the first Indian phone with the 750 uh, G processor as you can see. So this is the same 750 G processor which is found in the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G as well. So which I did the same kind of video on the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G. So you can find the links in description for any other smartphone videos. You can find check, check the links in the description for complete in-depth reviews on those uh, smartphones. So in this video, let's talk about this Motorola uh, G 5G. So so and as I said, there is a first 5G and uh, there is a first Snapdragon 750G processor close to uh, 20,000 kind of range. So this is going to be very excited from the Motorola uh, device. So uh, first is that uh, let's talk about the build quality about this phone. The build quality of the phone is uh, pretty normal. There is nothing much uh, difference. So uh, one thing is that uh, let me try to uh, show you one thing. There is no dual speakers. So usually we are seeing the dual speakers kind of set up nowadays in the mobile phones so that's not present and the phone weight is about uh, 219 grams as you can clearly see friends 219 grams so slightly about 200 uh, grams of weight and the and phone has the pretty good uh, build quality no need to talk about the build quality much here there's nothing much special as well here and there is a water repellent uh, design as well as you can see here so next thing is that uh, the phone processor as i said the snapdragon 750g processor which is pretty much uh, capable of scoring the Android benchmark score about uh, 3 lakhs 50,000 to uh, 3 lakhs 20,000 kind of range. So right now the Motorola they listed about uh, 3 lakhs 24,000 as you can see here in the chart uh, which they described here clearly. 3 lakhs 24,000 they said. But uh, even the Redmi, they are launching with the phone with the Redmi, uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro. They listed the Android benchmark score of the same processor of close to 3 lakhs 51,000. So overall you can uh, get a clear idea the Score of the Android benchmark score will be between 3 lakhs 20,000 to the 3 lakhs uh, 50,000. So that's a very decent score for this kind of uh, price they are offering. And with the 5G uh, connectivity as well, that's a really good option as a future proof. If you're looking into buy the mobile phone with the 5G connection and with the 750G, a uh, very good fast processor, then definitely friends, this phone will be the very good option. Another thing is that the Motorola, the phone will be having very stock Android experience. So that is another best part about this Motorola device, stock Android experience. So you won't get any annoying ads or any uh, lag interface going on in this device. So overall, it should be very much fine with the overall processor and the fastness and smooth in the Motorola phone. So this is about the processor. So next is the display. So display is the area where uh, there is a lot of drawback for this phone. I would not recommend. I will say the reason why. So first reason is that there is no higher refresh rate. That's the biggest uh, down, uh, downgrade point for this phone. There is no higher refresh rate and there is no uh, hammered panel as well. So the phone has only IPS LCD panel and which is HDR10 uh, Max uh, Vision display. So this kind of technology where the Motorola is using Max Vision uh, display. So uh, this is where the things are kind of uh, dis disadvantage for this phone only in the display uh, segment. So display is the area friends I would not recommend uh, buying this phone because nowadays we are habituated for the higher refresh rate mobiles or if you don't don't have higher refresh rate than the AMOLED panel uh, screens but this type of screens is not uh, that much comfortable for the most of the users so do let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about the display so let's see how many users will agree uh, with me and uh, next is a camera Camera is also another uh, area where I don't like much about the camera because the phone is offering very basic 48 megapixel and the 8 place 2 place uh, 2 megapixel only. Only three cameras are present and there is not no, no uh, fourth camera. So even though the fourth camera is present, uh, most of the users they won't use, but still it's uh, not there here. As you can see, the combination 48 megapixel main camera lens and 8 megapixel wide angle lens and 2 megapixel macro sensor lens. I think I think uh, there is another uh, camera which called removed maybe telescope lens or portrait lens. So on. Uh, 
mostly we got the macro lens and wide angle lens and the main camera lens so three lens uh, should be fine but uh, not having the 64 megapixel lens also few users will disappoint for that and even the 16 megapixel camera front cam so nowadays we are seeing the mobile phones with the 32 megapixel and more megapixel from the front cam so 16 megapixel can be a little bit kind of a disadvantage for few users so uh, this uh, camera uh, review of this uh, Motorola G uh, 5G device so there is nothing much special in the camera segment as well so the only thing the speciality of the phone is two things so first is the 5G and next is the Snapdragon 50G so this is the only two G's which is a really good 5G device so only these two uh, 5G's are uh, main point for selling of this uh, Motorola G 5G uh, smartphone so th there is nothing much special about this phone apart from this uh, area and finally about the battery and the charging this is another segment uh, where most of the users they don't agree with this phone so 5000 mAh of battery is kind of good but uh, having the 20, 20 watts fast charging is really really uh, slow nowadays we are seeing the phones which are having uh, 65 watts 33 watts and now we are having this kind of very very slow charging i think 20 watts charging will be the really disadvantage for uh, most of the users 20 watts charging so this is the only thing which uh, i am really concerned about this phone is that not having the very fast charging so uh, this is a quick uh, review friends as you can see so 20 watts uh, turbo power charging so uh, do let me know in the comments friends of uh, what are your thoughts about this uh, device so for me the initial impressions are not so exciting so i was excited only for this processor and the uh, 5g little bit but not much because 5g is not yet implemented properly so definitely only for the snap uh, snapdragon 750g only i am most excited but not particularly for this moto or any other specifications it has got there is no higher refresh rate there is no fast charging so uh, there is no AMOLED panel and all these uh, disadvantages makes this phone is really worth of buying or not. I would say it's not worth of buying and better wait for the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G which is going to come uh, with the same kind of processor, same 5G but uh, with higher refresh rate and fast charging capabilities. So uh, do let me know, know in the comments below friends what are your thoughts about this Motorola G5G device and thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.